good. Who used this phone last? The girl. She left the connection open so they could hear us. We've got to get her away fast. Oh! Captain America. Either the district attorney and Captain America are one and the same man, or else they're working very closely together. The girl called the DA's office and left the phone open so they could listen to us. Then Captain America arrived. Well, we will fire over our Captain America in due time. Now we must get ready for the next move. The next move? He is against Henley, the petroleum magnate. He also was a member of the Mayan expedition which discredited me. I've sent him an extortion note, which he's sure to take the district attorney. And we must learn what the DA intends to do about it. So you're to install a radio dictaphone in the district attorney's apartment. In his apartment? If he should find me there, ah, but he won't. I've arranged to have him come here. Shine, sir? Not today. Academy of Science has asked me to prepare the material for biographical articles on the members of the Mayan expedition who have been murdered. I'd appreciate it if you took over these notes to make sure I'm not divulging any information to the criminals that might interfere with your plans to arrest them. There are only a few pages. Perhaps you could look them over now. Certainly. I'd be glad to, Doctor.
calling H1. M3 calling H1. Hello, 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 hello. Yes, we heard it. It's okay. Now get out of there quick. The DJ may be back any minute. Right. Scarab. Want to see you at once. Oh, I see. All right, Gail, get a police escort and bring Mr. Henley here. When did he arrive? About ten minutes ago. I've been trying to get you, but your line was busy. What? What's that? I said I tried to get you, but your line was busy. All right. I'll expect you in about fifteen minutes. Very good. When Henley arrived, we know exactly what they're supposed to do. Now, Mr. Henley. What is this about an extortion note? They mean business, Gardner. Something's got to be done quickly. Henley, if you value your life, you will obey the following instructions implicitly. Draw $100,000 in currency from your bank and return home with it. Wait there for a telephone message instructing you as to the exact time and place where the money is to be left. Garrett. How did you receive this? pushed under my door. Do you intend to pay this money? Of course I intend to pay. It's my life I'm buying. I consider it worth the price. I'll consent on one condition. You ought to remain on the police guard, and Miss Richards will deliver the money. That's satisfactory. Will you try and capture the extortionists when they come for the money? That won't be necessary. We have a specially constructed carrying case for just such an occasion as this. It has a secret compartment containing a radioactive cell keep sending out a signal. By means of triangulation, we can locate the case wherever it is taken. Perhaps to the headquarters of the Scarab himself. I'll take care of the mechanical supply. We'll take every precaution to protect you. But remember, we're probably dealing with a homicidal maniac. You call me at my office as soon as you learn where the money is to be delivered. I will. We'll walk you to the elevator. Now the homicidal maniac will plan a counterattack. Bye. Good luck. Thank you. Good idea. But you told Mr. Henley. Mr. I not only told Henley, I also told the scarab. When you said my phone had been busy, I realized someone had been in the apartment. I searched and found a radio dictograph concealed in the bookcase. Then I think. Just what I wanted to think. That we're depending on the phony locator to trace them. So they won't expect us to try any other scheme. So that's it. Yes. And as soon as we learn where to leave the money, I'll start. You go to Henley's, pick up the case, and take it to the location designated.
and drop it down the shaft at the end of the tunnel. Okay. Get your hands up, Max. 